Since the beginning of 2023, I've been pretty absent from YouTube, but it's been for a good reason. I've been studying hard to earn CompTIA's certification trifecta, which includes three different certifications, the A+, Network+, and Security+. In this video, I'm going to share some advice, how long I studied for each exam, what resources I used, and answer the most important question when it comes to spending the time and effort to accomplish something. Was it all really worth it? I started this journey at the beginning of December 2022 and took about a month of studying for each exam, equating to about four months or so total to finish the trifecta, passing every exam on the first attempt. The A plus consisted of two exams, Core 1 and Core 2, Network Plus is one exam, and Security Plus is one exam. This may seem quick for some people, or it may seem slow. It really depends on the person and how much time you have to allocate to studying each day. This is where I give my first bit of advice, and it's to set timeline goals. My original goal for A, A Plus Core 1 was two months, but after I started studying and taking pra practice exams, I realized I was retaining the information a lot better than I thought I would. So although I had a goal set for two months, I was able to take the first exam sooner and adjusted my goal for core two to one month of studying. I made my goal for Network Plus and Security Plus one month each. For context, if you've seen my 2023 Home Lab Goals video, which I'll link right now, you know that I have no formal IT experience. So most of the concepts in the exams were new to me besides what I've learned while messing around with my home lab. I do have a full-time job, but I was able to set aside at least an hour or two a day on studying and put in longer hours on the weekend. I use the same exact resources for all the exams, Professor Messer's YouTube video series on each specific exam, and Jason Dion's practice exams on Udemy. There are a ton of different resources out there, either paid or free. When I was first studying for the exam, the A plus core one, I was so overwhelmed by the different amount of resources out there because I wanted to find the best one. So maybe you're out there, you find a resource, let's say Mike Myers videos on YouTube, and then you see on Reddit or something like that, another resource, let's say a Udemy course, worked out way better for this one person, so you switch over to that one. But what ends up happening is this endless cycle of starting over video series or rereading the same information over and over, and you never actually start to progress any closer to taking the actual exam. So advice number two is just start and finish. You just have to pick a couple resources and just start, but make sure you finish also. I chose to go with Professor Messer's video series and Jason Dion's practice exams for the core one of A plus and had good results. So that is what I stuck with for every exam. Professor Messer's videos on YouTube are free. Jason Diaz's exams are about $20 on sale for six practice exams. I would divide the number of videos by the number of days I wanted to finish in. So usually about 14 days or two weeks to watch all the videos. And then after the video series, I would take a practice exam and study every question I got wrong or right and dive a little bit deeper into the question to get a better understanding of the material. I never scored above 85% on any of the practice exams, and most of my scores were in the mid 70s. I would say the worst part for me was actually going through the process and never feeling ready. So advice number three is just schedule the exam. And I don't mean just schedule the exam and just wing it, but you have to be prepared properly and take the time to go through all the objective items. If you score consistently on multiple practice exams and practice some of the performance-based questions, then you're probably ready to take the actual exam. I never felt 100% ready for any of the exams. And that's why when preparing for Network Plus and Security Plus, it took a little bit longer than my goal time because I was waiting to feel ready. And if you wait until you actually feel ready, you'll probably be waiting a while so put in the work and just take the exam. So to answer the most important question of this video, is CompTIA's trifecta really worth it? And my answer would be yes. And although there was no magical moment or fireworks like I thought there would be when I first made this goal, and no, I didn't have recruiters on LinkedIn flooding my inbox to beg me to work for their company, but what it did for me was provide me with confidence. 
both in my knowledge of all the different subjects I learned and in my ability to learn something new. It's an investment in yourself and something you can show employers to prove you have the ability to learn that new job you're trying to get in the tech industry, even if you don't have any experience. Well, I hope you found this video useful and it motivates you to go out and learn something new. Make sure you stick around and follow my journey into the tech world.